Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we're going to look at two arrangements. Basically, we're going to make a pair of arrangements, and this is the type of thing that might be ideal for going in a church. So if you think about an altar, you probably want two arrangements, one either side, that are giving you a good show, but not necessarily being full of stuff. So we're not talking about pedestal. And this is really the containers that we're going to use. So I've got these tall, slim vases. What I've done is I've put a little bit of... Um, weight down into the bottom and I've filled these with water. So we've got two nice containers that match and what I really want to do is a lot of churches basically give away the flowers after a service so what they want is to have maybe like a tied bunch as opposed to something that is difficult to give away. So if we make these like two tied bunches then they're very easy to give to members of the congregation. So we've got our vases. Now flower wise I've just gone for simple flowers because that's probably what you would be wanting to use. So we've got a couple of Asiatic lilies and this is the ideal way to get them is um, if they're ready to open but they've not started then they're not going to get damaged and then really once you put them in place then they can start to open and they're going to be perfect. So a couple of lilies, we've got this beautiful uh, kind of feathery style gerbera and this is like a, a big gerbera and we've also got just five standard carnations. Foliage wise, I've got some eucalyptus. We've got some small monstera or cheese plants. Uh, I've got a big kind of cordyline, a um, little bit of grass. Now this actually came from my garden, so it's a miscanthus grass. And the only thing I've got to be careful of is it's a little bit sharp, but this is gonna give us a little bit of height and a little bit of contrast. Now you could use steel grass instead. Uh, and that's basically it. So let's get started and put one together. So really this leaf is going to give us our support at the back and what I want to do is we're going to really use this table just to give us a support for building our bokeh. So in a way it's a bit like making a flat bokeh and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the eucalyptus to give us a little bit of volume into our arrangement. So this is going to give us our bulk, but it's also going to give us some support for our other flowers. And um, the key one for this is really the lily. So we want to put that lily up and then we're going to have it so it's tall and it's short. And Next, the carnations. So I find actually lying this flat is probably the best way to do it. Uh, you can hold it in your hand, but because it's tall and thin, then there's a danger that things kind of waggle about, which makes them more likely to get damaged. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to stagger these carnations down through our design. Now you could use any other type of flowers. So with your gerberas, before I forget, is you want to look for ones that are nice and straight for going higher up. Um, you'll see that some of these have got a little bit of a bend on them. That's fine because we can use that to advantage. So if I want one that's over here, I can bring that in there and uh, you're just wanting to look at how these face really. So again we're staggering them. Uh, yeah there's a limit to how high I can make this because of the gerbera. And it's okay just to have one kind of facing backwards. So what we want to do now is just basically frame this with our yucca and these are great because these are just going to give us a little bit of support and a little bit of frame. So that is essentially our arrangement and we can just, if we want, move things around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this um, natural twine. Now you can get lots of different types of twine and we're just going round that a couple of times. And I wanted to tie that quite securely. And we can just trim it. 
Great thing then is by using the natural twine, then we can just put that in the bin and that's that. So, now we can trim this. And if we take one of our vases, we can have a little look and see how this is working. We've got lots of depth with this vase. And uh, yeah, that gives us a good display. So now it's just a case of doing the other one. So what we'll do is we'll just do this in exactly the same way. So we take our big main leaf, we add our grass to give us height. Then we add our filler, which is the eucalyptus. It doesn't have to be eucalyptus. It just so happens that we're using eucalyptus in this occasion. Uh, then our next thing that I like is the lilies. So what you want to do with your lilies is just have a little feel of which one's strong. Like this one's a little bit more bendy. So actually, it's probably better being the one that's lower down. Now, so what I want to do is make a mirror image of that. So I think what we'll do is we'll have our carnations more on the left this time. Is that right? Yeah. It doesn't really matter. I mean, if they're in a church, they're going to be quite far away from people anyway. So the thing is not to overthink it and not to over worry. So again, with the carnation, uh, the gerbera, I'm just having a quick look to see which one is nice and straight. And just be careful when you're handling flowers with lilies, because lilies can be really quite brittle, um, which is a bit of a problem because you don't really want to damage them, you know, when they're expensive, basically. So on that one, we had this foliage on the right hand side. So for this one, we're going to move it to the left. And we can have a look at our... See, that one goes better to this side. So just have a look and see how these sit. So that one obviously is going to be good for that side. But it also just depends on how you pop them in. So again, we've got... Similar? Yep. And then just catching the twine round it and just tie it off. So I mean this this could just as easily be a bokeh, a gift bokeh, uh, but it's interesting seeing it done as a way of making an arrangement. And we can really use these stems and keep them quite long. And there we go. We've got two arrangements relatively quickly, giving a lot of impact with not a huge amount of material. And from a distance, this is going to give a good show. And actually, it's going to be quite well lasting as well. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you want to give this a go, then send us your photos because we love to see what people do. Click here to subscribe <laughs> and hopefully see you at our next video.